what are some ways that you think that we as a body can do more unity because a lot of, let's just even say it in CHH, a lot of Christian hip hop uh, artists will say, yeah, well, I'm all about community. I'm all about building this, that, and the other, whatever. And then when you try to call them on it and, and say, okay, cool, like let's go ahead and build this relationship. All of a sudden it's like, well, you know, either A, uh, maybe your platform's not that big. And so now they're not really rocking with you or yeah. whatever the case may be. Like what, what can we do or what are some things that you are currently doing to actually bridge this community that we say as Christians, we ought to live like, like that would be great for people to look at the church and be like, oh my gosh, you guys yeah, are so yeah. united. You know what right. I mean? Like what, what are something that, that you work through? Um, I, I think, man, just really realizing, like you said, like, I love the illustration in scripture that we are the body. We all are different body parts. Right. And so, like I said, I used to really be about myself and try to do life and faith on my own. And when you see that picture of the body, it's like you can't just say like every, every body part needs each other. It's a whole system. Right. And I think in the church, we, we need more of that. Right. Because. It's not just about the pastor on stage who's speaking and, and, and preaching and, and the face of the ministry. It's about the person behind the scenes who's doing sound and the person who's putting the chairs up and taking them down and greeting people. And it's really realizing like we all need each other. That's the thing, right? And, and, and yeah. it goes to the depth of like, we can't do this alone. Well, we can, we can try, but it's gonna fail, right? The churches that are the strongest, I see it in the church I'm interning at right now, they just realize like that's not my gifting, right? And but you can do that, and, and so let's let's let you run at that instead of me trying to try to get in there or take control or saying you can't do that. Like let people fly because if you don't let people fly, then like people die, <laughs> right? And when it comes when it comes to their gifting, when it comes to their fervor for the faith and for the church, I've seen people's their passion die because they've been pushed to the side because, Oh, you're just doing this. You're just doing that. And it's like, no, let's, let's celebrate the body. And the same thing for Christian hip hop, man. Like let's stop judging one another. Let's set, stop trying to be like, you're not on my level and you need more followers before I work with you. Like, man, like we all need each other. And what's the world going to see that's better than a unified people. Right. Because Amen. the world looks at church and looks at Christian hip hop and they see division. And they're like, I got enough division going on in my life. Why would I need to be part of something that has more division? We need to be unified, right? And when we do that, then there's power because it's like, if I'm on a track with someone who, like my buddy Scribe Music, who I'm having the track come out, I can't sing, but the brother can sing. So I'm going to get him on there and be this singer. And he's going to bring a different style to that track on the verse than I'm going to bring. But together, we're going to be a beautiful picture of the body of Christ and family. And so... That's what I say. And that's what I'm trying to do with reporting live is having, you're going to have someone come up and sing and rap. You're going to have someone come up and share a testimony or a word of God, because you're seeing the body through that unity, I think. Right. Yeah, no, that's good. And I like the, uh, you know, Hey, you're already really dope at this. So instead of me trying to create this, yeah. let me just bring in somebody, let me just partner up with somebody. Yeah. You know, again, that's part of the unity stuff that, um, uh, gosh, I was just talking to Cole about this. It's like, um, you, again, churches and not ragging them by any means, um, cause there, there are, there is no perfect church. Uh, right. but, no. um, the mo again, the most thing that infuriates me, that frustrates me, um, is that it's like, why are we trying to build whatever this program is when the person right down the street has already killed it? Like they're doing, yeah. they're doing it amazing. Yeah. What, what are we going to lose by partnering with them? We're not, we're just going to gain. Right. Right. Yeah. Like partnership is, is how the gospel gets out there. Right. Like that, that's really what I've seen. Like I've seen events in cities before where it's like, it's supposed to be a big, let's bring the church together for a worship night and churches don't go. Cause they're like, Oh, that person at that church or we don't like that. Right. And so they stay siloed Man, the church shouldn't be siloed. The church should be coming together. I know we all have denominations and all that, all that side of things, but when it comes down to it, do you love Jesus? Do you love the word of God? Then, then why aren't we coming together to work for him and to serve him and to love, to love others? Because we need to do it. We need to do it together. And why are we also like seeing people as threats? Like that's one thing too. Like, oh, this person's doing this. And so I feel threatened. Like, honestly, with my situation where it didn't turn out well in ministry, it was like, like I said, they're like, Andrew, you're so gifted and blessed. And I'm not speaking ill of them. It's just saying what happened. 
you're so blessed, you're so gifted in this area, in this area, but you're not the right fit for this context. Mm. And I was, and they just, I was bringing different people into the church that they weren't comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And, and so the threat, then the people side, the politics, the sinfulness comes out because they're like, ah, oh, we're not sure that we like this. We don't understand it. And so you're out. And it's like, no, if you actually would have embraced me, you would have seen more youth come to your church. You would have seen more indigenous people because that's my background, like Native American come to your church. And, and that would have been good. But instead, you wanted to keep it more like Christian country club. And I didn't fit that. And Ooh. so, right. And so stop seeing each other as threats start seeing each other as brothers and sisters that's what we need amen amen man that's good that's good oh you can tell you a preacher bro you can tell <laughs> you just getting up in there man yeah yeah, no, yeah i love that 